Today's episode is about the Flex sensor. In this episode, we will be covering the extreme basics. Because in the upcoming tutorials, we will be using this Flex sensor in a biomedical project for human posture monitoring. We will also be using this for security purposes, for monitoring dents and a sheet metal and so on. So make sure you subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover what is a Flex sensor, how it works, how to use it with Arduino, a basic program to control an LED, how to select a proper resistor which is used with the Flex sensor. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one, Flex sensor, number two, 10K resistor, number three, jumper wires, and finally, Number 4. Arduino Uno Omega A flex sensor or bend sensor is a sensor that measures the amount of deflection or bending. Usually the sensor is stuck to the surface and resistance of a sensor element is varied by bending the surface. Since the resistance is directly proportional to the amount of bend, it is used as goniometer, an instrument for the precise measurement of angles. This flex sensor or bend sensor is also called flexible potentiometer. This flex sensor has two contacts and can be easily used with a breadboard. But personally, I prefer soldering jumper wires with a flex sensor so that it can be easily interfaced with other circuits. It works just like an ordinary potentiometer or variable resistor. The only difference is that the flex sensor resistance changes with the bending while the resistance of an ordinary variable resistor changes as we rotate the knob. There are some other types of the flex sensor but the one you can see on the screen is a conductive ink based flex sensor. Connect one end of the jumper wire with the Arduino's 5 volt and insert the other end of the jumper wire into the breadboard upper row. Now take another wire, connect it with the Arduino's ground and insert the other end into the lower row. Now insert a 10K resistor into the breadboard. This 10K resistor will be used in series with the flex sensor. Connect one wire of the flex sensor with the 10K resistor and connect the other wire of the flex sensor with 5 volt. This makes a voltage divider circuit. Now take another wire and connect it between the flex sensor and 10K resistor. And connect the other end of the jumper wire with analog pin A0 of the Arduino Omega. Now finally take another wire and connect it with the remaining leg of the 10K resistor and connect the other end with the Arduino's ground. So our basic circuit connections are completed. Integer flex is equal to A0. Flex sensor is connected with analog pin A0. Integer data is equal to 0. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value, and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication at the baud rate of 9600. This is the communication speed and bits per second. This will be used for the debugging purposes. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments as the input, the pin number or pin name, and the status which can be input or output. As this is a sensor, so that's why I set it to input. Then starts a while loop function. Data is equal to analog read flex. This instruction simply reads the analog pin A0 and store the value and a variable data, serial.println data, and this instruction simply sends the value to the serial monitor. Then there is a delay of 1 second is 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second. So we are done with the programming. Let's connect Arduino with the laptop. As you can see, the Arduino is turned on. Before you upload the program, first of all, make sure that you select the right board and COM board. And then click on the upload button and wait for a while. So 
So now, as you can see, the program has been uploaded into the Arduino Uno. Now let's open the serial monitor. As you can see, currently the value is 281. Let's bend the flick sensor. You can see the values are changing as I bend the flick sensor. When the sensor is played, the value is around 275. But when I start bending the flex sensor, you can see a variation in values. So when a 10K resistor is used with the flex sensor, I get this much variation. What if you use a different resistor? Let's say 330 ohm resistor. Simply replace the 10K resistor with 330 ohm resistor. Again, connect the Arduino and open the serial monitor. This time I'm getting a value of around 10. And as I bend the sensor, I get a value of 1, 2 and 3. Changing the value of the resistor can change the range of values. Now what if we use a large value resistor, let's say around 400 kilo ohms. Replace the 330 ohm resistor with 400k resistor. You can see the value is changed to 995. Now if I bend the sensor, the value drops to around 885, which is a small variation in values. You can also try some other resistors. For now, 10K resistor is the best choice as it gives me the maximum variation as compared to 330 ohm resistor and 400 kilo ohm resistor. So I'll be using a 10K resistor in my upcoming tutorials. Now let's control an LED with this flex sensor. We will be using two F conditions. As you can see when the sensor is flayed, when there is no bend, the value is around 250. And when I bend this, the value drops below 200 and even more. Let's make some change in our program. Let's say if the data is less than or equal to 200. Then, let's first of all define an LED. Now set LED is output using the pen mode function. Now turn on the LED using the digital write function. So when the value drops below 200, the LED will turn on. Now use another if condition. If value is greater than 200, which means if there is no bend, then turn off the LED. Now upload the program. The LED which is on pin number 13 is currently off. Now as I bend the sensor, the LED turned on. Let's also open the serial monitor. Currently the LED is off as the value is greater than 200. But as I bend the sensor, the value drops below 200 and the LED is turned on. Now this LED can be controlled using this flick sensor. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.